the first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created is my noor, my light. The first thing Allah created is my light. Another hadith from Mishkatul, from, from Siha Sitta, is another hadith, Sayyidina Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira, famous Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anhu. He asks Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mata wajabat lakan nabuwa? Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when was nabuwa, prophethood, given to you? Wajib on you, and he given to you. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to him, Kuntu nabiyyan wa adamu bayn al ma'i wa teen. And there is another which says, Kuntu nabiyyan wa adamu bayn al jasadi wa ruh. I was even a Nabi, a Prophet. He was asked, where, when were you a Prophet? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, I was a Prophet, Kuntu Nabiyyan wa Adamu bayn al ma'i wa teen. When Adam was between clay and between, what, and between water. He wasn't existed yet. He wasn't created yet, his body. Adam Alayhi Salaam's ruh was created. But I'm talking about his body. And then he says, wa Adamu bayn al ma'i wal bayn al jasadi wa ruh. When Adam was yet between a spirit, his, 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 his personality was yet divided. Spirit was different, his ruh, and his jism was different. His spirit did not enter his jasad. Yet, I was even a Nabi, which means I was even created before him. So what we can understand from this, Rasulullah was even created before any other prophet was created. His ruh, not his jasad. His body was created when he was, once he was born. But, his, but he was, his, you can say his personality, you can say his entity, you can say, was created even before the spirits of the prophets were created. And when we understand this, it becomes important because this is why am I telling you this? Because we are going to talk about the seerah of Rasulullah the life of the Prophet the life of the Prophet ﷺ, some would argue, started when 40 years, when he uh, uh, proclaimed Nabuwa, when he announced Nabuwa. Some will say his actual prophethood life will start from there. Some will say his seerah starts when he was born. I personally are, am, I am of the view that the seerah of Rasulullah ﷺ doesn't start when he was born. His seerah starts even before he was created. Because everything which tells us about his creation, everything which tells us from the books, from the hadith, from the history books, they have to do with the personality of Rasulullah They are talking about his character, his personality. Even though he is not yet created, he is not yet a human being, he is not yet in his physical form. But they are giving us a message, a message which will tell us how great his status is. This is. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of in his creation gave him the greatest status in his creation. You will understand this once inshallah I will talk about them. That is why I want to talk even before his birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa First thing which I would like to tell you is the, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa noor, his light. And I have in front of me four or five book, four books. Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya of Hafiz ibn Kasir. I have in front of me Tabaqat ibn Sa'ad. I have in front of me Mawrid al Nabi. I have in front of me Sirat Rasul Arabi. Two Urdu books, two books by Urdu scholars, two books by great mutaqaddimin, great scholars of the past who lived six, seven hundred years ago. Hafiz ibn Kasir and Imam Sa'ad. From these, inshallah, I will give you the, the, the lectures. So you will know whatever is said here is not just stories. They are backed with proofs, with arguments, with academic references. They are not just beliefs of some people, no. They are the beliefs of the majority of the Muslim Ummah. First thing, subhanallah, this is, this is in Tirmizi, Imam Tirmizi has narrated. When Rasulullah came back from, from Ghazwa Tabuk, from a battle of Tabuk, his uncle Abbas radiallahu anhu said some poetry. And Imam Tirmizi has narrated this poetry. And in this poetry, basically, he said, O oh Muhammad, oh my nephew, Muhammad, you, it is indeed, you are the one because of whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he accepted the forgiveness, the repentance of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. You are the one because of whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved the ship of Nuh alayhi salam. You are the one from whom Allah, because of whom 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Ibrahim alayhi salam from the fire of Namrud. This is poetry by the uncle of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And Imam Abu Hanifa, he says in Arabic, because there are some Arabic brothers, let me quote this. Anta alladhi lawlaaka ma khuliqa mra'un kalla wala khuliqa alwara lawlaak. Oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you are the one. Before you there was no man, no human mara, any no man created. You are the one. Kalla wala khuliqa alwara lawlaaka. Before Allah didn't create any creation. Yani you are the first creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are the first creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anta alladhi lamma tawassala adamu min zallatin bika faza wa huwa abaka. You are the one because of whom Adam alayhi salam's forgiveness was accepted by Allah when he ate from the tree. Wa bika al khalil dua faadatna rahu. Bardan wa qad khadimat binuri sanaka. It is because of you that Adam alayhi salam was saved from the fire of Namrud. وَبِكَ الْمَسِيحِ أَتَى بَشِيرًا مُخْبِرًا And you are the one about whom Masih, Isa alayhi salam, used to give khabar, used to tell his people that after me there is going to be a last messenger. I am not the last. بِسَفَاتِ حُسْنِكَ مَا دِحَنْ لِعُلَاكِ The one he used to mention your, your sifat, your attributes, your characteristics. Now, this... Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So the Prophet, so the, pe- the people say, Imam Azam Abu Harifa, Imam Tirmizi, all great scholars, Hafiz ibn Kasir in Al-Bidayah and Nihaya, Imam ibn Sa'd in Tabaqat ibn Sa'd, they all say, that what is the reason they talk about this poetry? It's not just poetry, it's a reality. Because if it was just poetry, not reality, Rasulullah would have stopped Abbas. He would have said, Uncle, what are you saying? Hada, it's not, it's not sahih, la sahih. He would have stopped. He never stopped his uncle. Imam Azam Abu Hanifa, great scholar, says something like this. It is not just poetry. It is reality. The scholars, they talk about this. And they say, you know what? They say, subhanallah. They say, why was it? Adam alayhi salam was forgiven because of this. Because of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. His dua was accepted, his forgiveness. Why was it? Nu alayhi salam's ship was saved. Why was it? That Adam Ibrahim alayhi salam... When he was in the fire, nothing happened to him. They say that the reason is because in them, the light, the nur of Rasulullah was present. Adam salam, look back, he is the grand, grand, grandfather of Sayyidina Rasulullah salam. They say because Adam was going to be the father later on, the grandfather, not of the whole humanities, generally yes, but specifically also of Rasulullah salam. He possessed the nur of Rasulullah in him. They say Ibrahim alayhi salam was saved. Because who is Ibrahim? He is Jadde Rasul, Jadde Nabi, Jadde Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He is the grand, grand, grandfather of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So he was the bearer of the light of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And then they say, that is why Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was the most handsome people among the Quraysh. Every person wanted his daughter to be given to Abdul Muttalib because they saw some strange blessing in him, some strange light in him. People could not say what it was, but they could see that there is something special in this person, in this young person. So he was, Abdul Muttalib was married four times. Once he was married with Fatima, with a lady known as Fatima. And Abdul Muttalib, as I said, he had four wives. One of the ladies he married, was Fatima binti Amr, Makhzumiya. From him, from, her, from their marriage, from the marriage with this lady, who was a very, very pious lady, who was a very, very pious lady, the most, you can say, pious lady of among the Quraysh at that time was this lady, Fatima binti Amr, Makhzumiya, who was married with Abdul Muttalib. And Abdul Muttalib from this marriage had some children. Who were they? Abu Talib, Zubair, Abdullah, Bayda, Atika, Barra, Umayma, and Urwa. So, Abdu- so Abdullah, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was born from this marriage. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa his daughter's name was Fatima. And his grandmother paternal's name was also Fatima. Allahu Akbar. And you know one thing, last thing. You know Abu Lahab, the unbeliever, the non-believer, the kafir, the mushrik. 
who was also an anchor of 